What is going on guys, we have it CG Mans vs Extra Shrine Ulti Round 5 a Losers Bracket. This is not gonna be a replay for the entire video, so if you are one of these people that like to see the Smoktus jet, just wait a bit. Uh, I recorded this game live from turn 24, but I really like to um, bring you guys the, the replay for the turns that I missed. Because it just feels like something is missing if I don't um, do that. But yeah, looking at the teams real quick, Reunitas with Common is definitely gonna be a threat for sure. His main way to pressure the Reuniclus is gonna be um, well, probably a Zygarde. Um, it's either a Bandit or a Z move Zygarde, I assume. And the first one might have knocked off to get rid of Reuniclus lefty, so extra is gonna have to watch out that he doesn't let this get knocked. Um, because, like, if this is common clef, Reuniclus beats it uh, one on one in a common war. Because Reuniclus has a Psy Shock, and they usually um, speed creep Toxapex as well uh, before they can get hazed. I'm thinking this is a Scarf Lander because that's, like, in my opinion, um, the only potential Scarfer. And he doesn't have to be defensive since he has a uh, Clefable uh, that can deal with opposing Zygarde. Um, it's probably gonna be a Fist Death Steeler, but Death. Uh, more Spadef Feral, like Mixed Defensive and Spadef Packs as well to help for stuff like Ashgren or deal with, to deal with that a bit better. But yeah, looking at Extra's team, um, I'm thinking it has to be Defensive Lando, he's quite weak to Zygarde. Um, definitely Spikes Lando, uh, Greninja, I said Lando, my bad. Um, not sure if the Ladi is going to be Scarfed, it could also be Z-Move Ladi, but not, yeah, I'm not sure about that yet, like his team is quite slow. If he's not Scarf Lottie or Scarf Gren, but the Gren is probably not Scarf on this team. I'm thinking it's like Battlebond Spikes. Um, either Tran, um, probably like a bulky Tran, like Max HP, Max Speed. Uh, could also be a Spadef Tran because he's quite weak to Tapu Lele. Um, but yeah, either Rocks and Tran or Lando, but let's get right into it. And yeah, on turn 24, I will switch to my other recording where it's gonna be live narrated. Um, like, I'm gonna narrate over it, but it's gonna be with the Astos chat. So, we see a Ladi lead versus a Lando lead. Um, so, Sejumas is definitely gonna switch out here because if he, he's Scarf Lando, but he most likely, but he doesn't wanna take a uh, Scarf Draco. So, he goes on the Clefable and Extra just goes for a Surf. So, Surf makes me think that this is, mo this is probably not a Scarf Ladi, because the only Ladi that I've seen this gen that ran Surf was Specs. Um, I'm actually thinking that this is a Z-Move Ladi. Um, so, this, this can actually be a big threat for CG Math. So, if I'm CG Math here, I would go either into Ferrosaur or Celestila. Um, probably into Celestila, because you want to scout for a potential Z Shattered Psych that would blow the Clefable away. Um, if Extra does not have Shattered Psych, uh, he can go on a heat turn here um, to try and get up his rocks. Heat turn also covers the two steel types that would come out on the potential uh, Shattered Psych. And he just just go on a heat turn and see Jumas. Uh, goes on a Celeste Dealer. So that was just, heat turn was just completely free there. Um, I assume Extra is just gonna get his rocks up. See Jumas doesn't wanna stay in here. Um, so Zygat is in. Extra Shun is now forced to switch into his Landris. And now we will see if it's a DDR Bandit variant or something like whatever it is. Yeah, so that's 31. I assume there's a defensive Lando. So um, it's probably that's choice Bandit damage for sure. Uh, we do see the Landris has no lefty. So it's probably a Rocky Helmet variant. I'm not a big fan of that. On this team, he's quite weak to Zygat. I would prefer leftovers if I was using this team. But yeah, I assume he's just gonna U turn here. On the Celestia because the switch is quite obvious. Yes, Zygarde is a big threat to him, but Sejumas also needs the Zygarde, so he's never staying in there on the H on the potential HPIs. He was always going Steeler there, so I would have U turned there from extra, but I do understand that he's fearing the Zygarde and it's a threat. Um, if Sejuma stays in and he goes for like U turn there, he would have been in a really bad spot. So I understand his play, but I still wouldn't have made the play. Um, like if he had lefties, it just would have been a bit better for him. Um, but yeah, Sejumas C C is probably gonna spam uh, Heavy Slam or use Heavy Slam here because um, there's a Reuniclus that can has Magic Guard, so it doesn't get affected by Leech Seed. So I don't think he's gonna go for Leech Seed. So yeah, he can just U turn out into his Reuniclus, and even if he goes for Heavy Slam, um, he's gonna he's gonna eat it up, and he's gonna be able to uh, set up on Celestia if Celestia stays in. So he's gonna be forced out to switch. I assume he's gonna go into Ferrothorn to. I threaten the Reuniclus with a knockoff. And Extra is potentially gonna go for a Calm Mind or something like that. He goes for a knockoff, that's really interesting. I haven't uh, seen Reuniclus with knockoff this gen yet. That's really nice. I mean, it's, it makes sense because he doesn't have another knockoff user. I'm always a big fan of having like at least one knockoff user. It also helps him with stuff like Chansey to knockoff, so Psyshock does more damage to that. Um, I assume Extra is gonna switch because he doesn't want to get knocked off uh, from the Ferrothorn. So he's probably either gonna go Lari if he's Z-move, uh, which he most likely is, because knockoff doesn't do much to that. 
Um, depends on his Lati set. If he's not HP5, he's probably not going to make that play. His other potential play is going Lopani. Um, because Sijimas is either getting hazards up here or he's going for knockoff. So Lopani covers both options. Heatran is also a play. So like one of the three, um, but Heatran or Lopani are more likely to come out. Uh, if I'm Sijimas here, I would probably get up uh, Spikes or Rocks. Uh, depending on what he has, um, he has actually Rocks on Ferrothorn. At first I thought he would be Rocks on Clef or Lando and then Spikes on Ferro. Uh, we don't know yet if he's double hazards. We shall see that later. But he goes in the Heatran here. And yeah, extra can cl click his fire move here. And Sijumas doesn't have a good switch in. I assume he's gonna go Zygarde. Um, because if he goes Pex and he gets uh, Magma Stormed. I have actually haven't paid attention. Did this Pex come out yet? I don't think if Pex came out yet. But yeah, I assume Extra is just gonna click the fire move here. Uh, because like if... I'm not sure if I agree with the Pex play there because... Um, yeah, he's Black Sludge. So if the Hedron went for Magma Storm there, they would've trapped the Pex since he's not Chet Shell. And... Getting rid of Pex is really, would be really nice for extra for the for the Greninja. Um, if he weakens the Ferrothorn, gets rid of the Pex, he can uh, potentially win with a Balabon Greninja late game. Um, like Scarf Lando is not a problem. He can have has a Water Shuriken on that. But yeah, I assume that extra if he has it, he's gonna click off power here. Um, see, Jumas is either gonna recover or uh, Scald here. Off power does a really good chunk. Uh, he's just Scalds. And now I assume he wants to save this with, with Regenerator, switch out into the Zygarde here. Extra doubles in the Greninja. I'm not sure if he predicted the, the Zygarde. Um, but yeah, if I'm ex if I'm CG Mas here, um, he doesn't know the Greninja set yet, so he has to switch. Since his, uh, his Poxapex is quite low, I don't think he can switch to that. Um, he's probably going to have to switch into uh, his Ferrothorn here. If I was extra Shun here, I would go for a spike, knowing that Sijumas doesn't know the Greninja set and is probably going to switch out because the Zygarde is quite important for him this match. So I would definitely get up a spike here because his Ferrothorn is pretty obvious here. But he does double into Lanners. I'm not sure what he predicted there. Um, I guess he just uh, didn't have a move to uh, Oko Zygarde, but like I said, Sijumas doesn't know his set. So um, I feel like he could have just stayed and gotten up a spike with the Greninja. But yeah, Ferrothorn comes out. Uh, Ferrothorn can now go for a knockoff here. Unless it's double hazards. If it's double hazards, he can also get up a spike. But he's not gonna go for a leech seed because there's um, the potential of extra going reuniclus. Even though going reuniclus is a bit risky because he might get knocked. But I assume extra is gonna hard switch into um, Heatran or Lopani again. He goes into Ladi. Um, okay, okay. So um, again, that confirms that it's most likely Z move Ladi. Um, because. You wouldn't bring it in on a Feral otherwise, on a knockoff. Um, number like number one, that he's most likely to move, so he can eat up knockoff better. Number two, that also tells us he most likely has hidden power fire. But yeah, Sijimas goes uh, Celestila, and he can just click Heavy Slam here again. He could also click Leech Seed, I guess, if he breaks the Heatran. But yeah, he clicks Heavy Slam and gets the play correct on the Reuniclus. Uh, Extra is gonna recover. I assume Sijima is gonna go back to Feral Thorn here uh, to threaten this with a knockoff. But no, he's no. He knows that extra doesn't want to let this get knocked off, uh, so you can predict the switch here. And gets up. Oh, he gets up a spike. So he is double hazards Ferrothorn. That's quite interesting. But the thing is, with double hazards Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn already ha kind of has a four move slot syndrome. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that set. But yeah, let's see. Um, like he brings this in on Ferro. Like it just tells us he has hidden power fire on this. Um, so Sejima is gonna switch. You can potentially go into Scarf Land here expecting the hidden power fire. But he does just do that. Because he's never gonna Draco or Ferrothorn. So Sijima is gonna go for Scarf U turn here. Um, Extra makes a nice play um, in the sense that he can chip the opposing Landorus. But now Bandit Zayat comes out and pretty much gets a kill. Because it's not intimidated. Um, Extra doesn't have good switch ins to this. I mean, Ladi can live one, maybe? Actually, no, no, Ladi is too low. Ladi is too low, no. No, no, he just has to sack. Yeah, he has to sack this. I saw this Ladi was a bit more healthy, my bad, guys. So he has to sack his Landorus here. Uh, since it's not intimidated, it's obviously gonna kill. And now he goes to Ladi and he threatens the Zygarde out. There's the Celestila. Does he break the switch? He just goes for a Roost. Um, yeah, he, like, he definitely has Hidden Power Fire, but he showed Roost and Surf as well. And I think in the last move is probably a step, so I don't think he has Command. If he had Command, um, that would be actually. Kind of threatening, but Heavy Slam from Celestia still does a lot to um, to Ladi. So even if he had common, like I think Celestia still beats this one on one. Um, so I assume that he's gonna switch now into 
Maybe it's Heatran or something like that. He goes into Greninja. Uh, quite surprised by that. As there's the lead sheet from Sejima. Sejima's never misplayed. Can you you guys remember early he heavy slammed on the Reuniclus? Now he leech and he doesn't when extra doesn't go Reuniclus. Um but I assume extra is just gonna uh, stack up some spikes here. I see a uh, heavy slam is completely free here. Um, he's locked into spikes, I assume, so he's gonna get up another layer of spikes, and Heavy Slam is gonna kill the Greninja, so he's just gonna get a defense boost. And now we're gonna switch over to my live recording, because from 24 I recorded this game live, so one second guys, let me pause it real quick. Okay, so now we're finally live, and Lava Plume is free here for extra shine. Sejumas is gonna be, um, forced to sack his Toxapex, um... He doesn't want to go hard on Zygarde and risk getting burned by Lava Plume. Pax is also not going to be doing much this game. It cannot really regen back its its health because it uh, has a Zab. So he's going to Lava Plume. Um, if it doesn't 2-hit KO, he's Lava Pluming into off powering. He gets a crit, so that means the next Lava Plume kills. But even if he didn't get that crit, I don't think Sejumas would have ever risked his Landris anyway. So I think he would have just sacked the Pax to Elf power anyway. Now he's going to go Zygarde. His only potential switch in here is the, the Ladi, but the Ladi is going to take around 80 from a band of 1000 arrows. Oh, this is going to hurt for sure, as it does 85. So if I'm extra here, I'm always roosting, uh, because the Ladi can definitely put in work. Um, we already brought it in on the Pharaoh earlier, so we know it's most likely a Z-move um, HP5 variant. Um, Sejumas can click uh, Leech Sheet or Heavy Slam here. I would probably click Heavy Slam. Extra. Yeah, I guess Extra is probably gonna want to roost again, but the thing is, Heavy Slam does more than 50%, I think. So I would have Heavy Slam there, I wouldn't have Leech Sheeted. Um, Extra is now most likely gonna switch into Reuniclus here. Like, I would definitely go Reuniclus because you don't. Like, if you go Seedrun here, he unnecessary takes hazard damage. His Seedrun his only has a few switch ins. Yeah, I, I don't really like that play. He went Heatrun well. Um, Sejima went into Clef, and Clefable actually beats Heatron 101 unless Heatron has Taunt or Flash Cannon, which is not really, like, Flash Cannon is not common at all. He should level Plume, Elf Power, and Rocks. I'm guessing the last move is, like, Toxic. So Sejima's gonna just go for Softbolt. Uh, he already showed that he's, um, double hazards on Ferrothorn, so this is probably a common Clefable. Um, so I think it's just gonna Softbolt. Lava Plume does a bit more than I actually thought it would do, so there's definitely some sort of offensive trend. But yeah, Sejimas can just start call mining up uh, extra force to go into his uh, Reuniclus here. That's the only thing he has to stop the Clefable. And Extra's probably gonna go for his own call mind. Um, <laughs> because if you knock off here in the Clef call mines again, I feel like he doesn't want to like risk Clef call mining up too much before he gets up his own call mine. So I think he's just gonna call mine here. Uh, Sejima is probably gonna yeah exactly switch out because he knows he doesn't beat this one on one, and he can go Pharaoh here. And I would just knock off here because this trend is super low. Uh, another option is getting up a secondary spike, but I feel like knock off is fine. Um, Extra is probably gonna go back to Ladi. I don't remember how healthy the Ladi was. I think it was at 88, right? But yeah, he already brought the Ladi in on the Pharaoh earlier. So we know it probably has HP Fire and stuff like that. I've talked about that a few times now. Hmm. I mean, Leech Sheet is also an option here, but the Reuniclus is too big of a threat. But like, Extra knows that the Reuni puts him work and he doesn't want to let it get knocked off. So he's definitely not staying in with the Reuni. But there's like there's like no way um, Sejima is like ris um, risking a like leech seed on a potential stay in. So he's either knocking or um, yeah, he, I would knock here. I would knock here. He really uh, like Sejima might be like the gold and like predict the switch, but I would like knock here because even if Ladi comes out, um, takes rocks and knock, and then it's probably forced to roost, uh, which gives you a free switch into like Celestia or something like that. Mm -hmm. Get attacking quite a time. Maybe the um, extra is like trying to think how he can win this. So he goes Heatran. I don't think he would have. Well, I'm really surprised. Like, I feel like he brought his Heatran in, like, on turns that he didn't have to bring his Heatran in. Uh, and now his Heatran is pretty much dead to hazards. Uh, Sejumas can just go to Clef here on a Lava Plume. You've already seen it doesn't do enough damage. And he can just softball up. The Heatran doesn't have Taunt because if it had Taunt, they would have gone for it earlier. So Sejima is just going to softball here, play it sir safe. Um, I assume Extra is going to go for a knockoff. Potentially, um, yeah, trying to get rid of the lefties on the clef. Mm -hmm. 
the Pharaoh already got knocked off, so extra is uh, now either gonna sack the Trenner lefties, but I would probably go hard Lottie here and keep the Trenner's farther, uh, because the Bandit Zagat from CG Monster is such a big threat to extra. So like having an extra farther in Heatran, like having an extra sack is really nice in this situation. Um, so yeah, I would go Lottie here. Uh, unless he's not HP for his Zemu, like... I don't know which type of Z-move it is. I mean, it's either the Draco or the Shattered Psych or the Surf, I'm thinking. Um, like one of the three options. Like we have not seen his last step move. It's either Draco or um, Psychic or Psy Shock. Um, but if CG must predict him to sack the Heatron, he can go for a Spike here. Um, I don't think that's necessary though. I think, again, I would just knock off here from CG Mas. Like we had the same scenario a few turns ago. So yeah, just sacks the Heatron to Hazards. Like I said, it would have been nice to keep the Heatron as farther. But I understand why he made the play. So now he's gonna go Lari. And threaten this with HP Fire. Um, I mean, he can try to roost up, but if he gets like Leech Seated or Knock Off, like he's not gonna be healing any health. So I would just go for HP Fire. Uh, see, you must, um, it's just gonna sack his Pharaoh because um, it dies to Hazards anyway, so there's no point in keeping it. Um, yeah. I would just HP Fire him extra. And Sijumas is either gonna spike or leech seed. Because uh, knockoff doesn't really do much to Lari, right? Since it's a Z move Lari. I'm getting super tired. Um, if I'm too tired, you guys will get game 2 maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll try to also narrate game 2. Game 2 is gonna be completely live. Um, there's not gonna be any replay turns. It's completely. Um, but Smog just checked the entire game. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And a potential game 3 as well. If, depending on the outcome, I obviously, I don't want to spoil anything. I know most of you guys already know the result, but I still don't want to spoil it. So he picks, it, he roosts first on a spike. So he was able to get the Lottie healthy. Um, I wouldn't have spiked, I would have uh, lead sheeted or knocked, uh, probably lead sheeted. But yeah, um, now he's able to keep Lottie at full, which means he can take uh, bandit T arrows still. Uh, Sijuma's gonna go to Clefable here, most likely. He can also go to Celesteela. Um, since the Lottie roosted, like if the Lottie didn't roost, he could have gone to Scarf Lano and potentially picked it up with U-turn. I think U-turn might have killed from 76. That might have been a roll. But he goes on the, um, the Reunit class. Um, I think Sijumas is gonna go hard into Zygarde here. Um, because Extra is most likely gonna calm and up. Um, if Extra knocks off predicting the hard Zygarde, that would be a fire play. Because if Zygarde loses the band. Um, Reunixes might be able to wall it, uh, but since Reunixes usually runs like 44 speed to outspeed uh, Toxapex, so that you cannot get haste and you can sidetrack them before, um, it loses some of its bulk, and I think Outrage even without the band would still do a good chunk, and um, like Zaga's Outrage into like Lando's Earthquake would probably still beat the Reuniclus. Yeah, I don't think Sijumas is gonna stay in though, because like he just loses one on one. And Clefable is really nice to keep because Clefable uh, is his best answer for Lopani. Because it has Magic Guard so it doesn't take Hazard's damage. I mean, yes, Celestia is also a decent answer. But Clefable is a better answer to, uh, to Lob. So, Sijumas either has to go for the Calm Mind War or he has to go hard into Zygarde. And I think he's gonna uh, make the hard Zygarde play and predict like a Calm Mind. But let's see. This is definitely quite close, but I think Sijumas is in a little bit of a... It kind of depends on this play. If he predicts the Zygarde switching and goes for knockoff, extra um, might get put in a really good position. But he just comments up. Uh, Sijumas is now going to go for Outrage. I think extra is going to switch out because he... Um, his Reuniclus would... If it gets Outraged, it gets too low. Um, and then it's in range from Lando. I think even from Lando's U-turn. So I think he's going to sack his Lopani here. Um, then go into Lari to threaten the Zygarde out. And at the end, it <laughs> I think Sijumas just, uh, if he doesn't mess up, Sijumas has this in the back. But let's see. So he sacks his lob. I think he's just gonna do Outrage. Choice Bandit. Uh, now he can go to Lari and either Draco or Z move it. Um, I still don't know which type of Z move it is, this, like I said earlier. I mean, his team is not that weak to Heatran, but he might still be Z Surf. He might also be Z Psychic, I don't know it. So he has Z Surf, okay, Z Hydro Vortex. 
Picks off the Zygarde, so that means his last move might have been Draco and I didn't want to risk missing because he doesn't really need the Hydro Vortex for anything else. It might, it might have been nice for a weakened Clefable, but let's be honest, I don't think if, uh, Clefable is going to ever get in range from that, if CG must play it correct. And yeah, so he's going to either go Clef or Steeler again here. And Extra is then going to go into Reuniclus. Um, but yeah, since Extra got rid of the band Zygarde, Reuniclus still has um, some potential to win this game for extra. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, for a second I thought I mixed up their names, but I didn't. <laughs> Good God, I'm getting super tired. Um, so he goes on a Scarf Lance. Okay, okay, so he's gonna U-turn. Makes the one play that I didn't think would make. So he's gonna U-turn out. Um, I, this is an acceptable, yeah, this is a fine play. Um, because he can just U-turn out into his Clef or his um, Stila. Uh, because at this point, he knows it's Hydro Vortex and already used the Hydro Vortex, so it's not a pot like potential Shattered Psyche is out of the way. So his Clefable doesn't have to fear that anymore. So he knows that Clefable probably rolls the Lari, so he can just U turn into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, U turn into Clef is like a fine play here. Um, I assume Extra is. Does he even need the Lari anymore at this point? He might, he might just stay in with the Lari. Let me, let me think this through. <laughs> Like, Lari doesn't do anything at this point, because, like, we don't know its last step, but no matter if it's, like, Psychic or Draco, it's not gonna put in enough work, unless he, like, crit spadef drops the clef. But, yeah, I don't think Lari's gonna be putting in any work, so he might just stay in with the Lari and go for a surf or something like that. Like, if he roosts with Lari on break to the U-turn, that doesn't help extra, because um, Clef just sets up Call Mind on over, all over Lari. So, like, he's forced to switch into Reuni after anyway. So, I don't think there's a point in going hard Reuni and let it take a U-turn. I think he's just gonna um, stay in with the Lari here on the U-turn. So, yeah, Lari's gonna be able to eat that. Okay, that's 66. I actually thought it would do a bit more. So, he's probably gonna go for Surf. As that hits everything on Sijuma's team neutrally. Like I don't like I said, I don't think it gains anything from roosting. They're taking quite a time here. I mean it's understandable this is gonna um this is quite important. Um this is loser's bracket, so uh, whoever loses um this the best of three is out of the two. So he goes on the stealer on a psychic. Okay, I thought he would serve pretty psychic. So he revealed his last move there. So he predicted the Clefable to come up because the Clef is fist death, so psychic would have done a good chunk. So I understand extra's play. Um Sijuma is just gonna spam a heavy slam here. That's at least what I would do. Um, Heavy Slim doesn't let the Lari roost up. Um, but Extra probably has to try to roost. Um, he might also just HP fire to get some chip on the Steeler. And then, like at this point, like I said, Lari is not doing anything. He just has to hope that he can ha somehow pull it out with, off of Reuniclus. Reuniclus does beat Steeler and Clef one on one unless it gets uh, hexed. Like if Clef. Clef has to crit um, Reuni to beat it. So we got, you guys can see it at 61, so he's not going to be able to roost it off. So he should just go for Hidden Power Fire. Um, then he's going to die to the next Heavy Slam. And then he's going to bring out his Reuni because he still uh, is roosting. But the only thing roosting does is give Celestia more lefties. Um, not that the health on Celestia matters too much. I don't think it matters. Um, so he gets a crit. I mean, it kind of matters because uh, Reunix only has 16 Shashak PP, so if Celestia is healthy, that might be annoying. He gets a crit there. I don't think that's going to play uh, a game deciding role. He goes for Uniclus. Um So Sijimas goes now hard to Clefable and gets knocked. Um, so yeah, he just wanted to knock off the, the Steeler there, but yeah, he gets the lefties on the Clef. And now we're going to see a Calm Mind War. And Reuniclus wins this 1 on 1 because it has Psy Shock, unless it gets crit, like I said earlier. So yes, um, Reunicus is gonna like comment like two more times and then he might start attacking because Psyshock is gonna do like a lot, plus four. Um, I assume Sijuma is gonna start fishing for a special attack drop soon. So he does Moonblast, it does 29, he gets a drop. He comments again. So I think he's gonna start side shocking here. He recovers first, he doesn't want to risk it. He wants to be healthy. t bolt okay, so he can still para, he can still crit, he has two moves. Oh, t bolt on Clef is for stuff like Celeste Dealer. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, it also hits the T-turn decently hard. 
And it's after combat, and now he gets the crit, and the game is over. That sucks. Um, Sejima's just said, okay, he says he has punishment, he had punishment on his landers, so the crit was not game deciding, because the remix has commented up a lot, so, um, punishment would have done a fuckload of damage, because it gets stronger if you comment up more, yeah, I was talking about that, AB, uh, Flame Victine used that in World Cup punishment, uh, so really cool, interesting game for sure, um, Sejima's is up 1-0 in the best of 3, uh, versus Extra Shine, um, you can get, uh, expect game 2 either in a few hours or tomorrow. And yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, smash that thumbs up button because I'm super tired and I'm out here bringing you guys the content. And yeah, stay tuned for more content. Have a fantastic um, day. Um, Doc Rich signing out. And stay tuned for more ulti, more snake draft, all that goodness. Goodbye.